Hello and welcome to another video of Thoughtful Gift series. That means that I'm going to create custom wrapping that matches the gift itself. Today I'll be making a box that uh, matches a sketchbook that features Starry Night on its cover. So let's get started. So here is the sketchbook itself. It's slightly larger than 5 by 7 and um, slightly thinner than 1 inch. I'm going to list all the supplies that I'm using as well as the sketchbook itself on my blog and in the description of this video. Before I start creating a box, I'd like to personalize this sketchbook a little bit. I'm basically stamping a, a sentiment that's a little greeting for the recipient. The stamp set I'm using is Let Your Light Shine by Birch Press Design and the ink is Memento Danube Blue. Then I'm applying some double-sided adhesive onto the second page and that is to be able to stick the two front pages together. This is totally optional, but I just like the front page to feel nice and sturdy. To make a box I'll need two sheets of heavy weight navy blue cardstock. Both A4 and uh, letter size will do. I want the bottom of the box to be 6 inches by 8 and a half inches. That is slightly larger than my book. Then I'm adding 2 inches for the sides and now I have uh, the measurements that I have to cut my paper to. That is 8 by 10 and a half. Then I'm going to use my paper trimmer to trim both pieces of cardstock to these measurements. The box I'm creating today is very basic. I'm just going to use a paper trimmer and my scoring board. To make a bottom of a box, I'm placing uh, the paper inside the um, scoring board and I'm scoring it at one inch mark from all the sides. Here you can see how the sketchbook is going to fit inside the box. So that was the bottom and here is a little trick for creating the top of the box. This little mark here is 1 16th of an inch. If you don't have it on your board, you just draw it with a pen. So what I'm doing is I'm placing my paper at this mark instead of the zero mark. And again, I'm scoring at a one inch mark just like I did for the bottom. This way the top will be a bit larger than the bottom and it's going to close up easily. Then I have to make a cut at each corner of the paper. I'm also creating a little wedge on a small tab, but that is totally optional. You don't have to do that. When I'm done, I'm going to use my bone folder to fold the paper along all the scored lines. Then you just have to apply adhesive at all the small tabs and then you can uh, start assembling the box. I'm just folding in all the tabs and uh, sticking them down. If some edges of the paper are not too well aligned, I'm just using the scissors to correct it. The bottom of the box is ready and the sketchbook fits right in. Before I assemble the top of the box, I'm going to decorate it and I'm going to use the Waves layering set by Birch Press Design. This pattern really reminds me of Starry Night. I have the top layer cut out of silver mirror cardstock, the mid layer out of blue cardstock and the bottom layer out of white cardstock. And now I'm going to assemble all three layers. So first I'm attaching the mid layer to the bottom layer using the liquid glue. I'm making sure I line up it really nicely and then I'm going to dab it with a paper napkin and that allows me to remove any excess glue and uh, also press it down the die cut. The top layer is super intricate so it's going to take some time to apply the glue all over it. 
I'm applying glue in tiny dots and then I'm going to position the die cut on top of the previous layers and then again I'm going to dab it with a paper napkin. You can also press it down with a large acrylic block to make sure it's stuck all over. For this project I will need two of those backgrounds. I'm setting one aside and then I'm going to trim the other one. I'm going to cut it at 1 and 7 8 inch mark and then I'm going to flip it over and repeat this process. This way I will have two strips of pattern. Now I'm flipping over all the backgrounds and then I'm going to connect them at the wrong side by applying some um, strips of washi tape. I need this temporary connection to be able to attach the ribbon later on. I'm actually going to use two pieces of ribbon. One is organza and uh, one is silver ribbon. I'm applying some hot glue at uh, the edge of the patterned panel at the wrong side and sticking down uh, the wider ribbon. Then I'm going to apply more glue and uh, stick the thinner silver ribbon right on top of the white one. If the glue is still hot, I'm using an acrylic block to press down the ribbons. I'm also going to attach this large silver charm to the project, so I'm feeding both ribbons through the ring on a charm. Once I have it in the right position, I'm going to add some hot glue and secure it in place. Then I can secure the other ends of the ribbons and I'm going to trim off the excess if necessary. The panel is now ready and all I have to do is to attach it to the top of my box, so I'm applying some liquid glue at the wrong side and I'm centering it on a project. Again I'm dabbing it with a napkin because uh, acrylic block is uh, hard to use because of that uh, charm. Now I can finish assembling the top of the box just like I did with the bottom, so I'm folding all the lines. Then I'm going to apply some glue at the tabs and finish assembling it. And that finishes my project for today. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed, have a great weekend and I'll be seeing you again really soon.